On this episode of DPV, we're going to talk about my grandpa's 1941 Chevy pickup, known as the Trap Wagon. I saw this truck numerous times on his trips back and forth to Royal City in a farmer's field outside of the top. He was really drawn to this truck because he actually had a truck just like it in high school. His was a 46. It's quite the project. We'll save that for a future episode. Anyway, uh, in 1991, my dad got a phone call from my grandpa. And grandpa said, hey Jess, guess what I just bought? It was that beat up old 1941 Chevy pickup. They drug that thing over to my dad's place, put a battery in it, gravity fed the carburetor with a fuel can sitting on the cowl, and after four or five cranks, started right up. Then my grandpa took it up to his place in Craigmont, Idaho, tinkered with it for a while, he freed up the clutch, got the old band brakes working, and then he basically drove it around that way for uh, quite a few years. And that old faded red, bashed in body, the rickety old flatbed. I remember people giving him grief like at hot August nights and stuff at the cruise because it was just an ugly old truck. You know, nowadays that rat rod style is actually kind of cool. So then in the late 90s, my dad and my grandpa blew that thing apart, put countless hours into the body making it look like new, and painted it from the frame up in the blue and black that you see today. I remember going up to Craigmont with my dad uh, during that teardown and bodywork stage. Uh, my sister and I both went up there and uh, you know we helped scrape grease out of the engine compartment and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I, I will cherish forever those memories of learning how to turn wrenches and bang on fenders with my old man and his. Um, crazy thing about the story is it didn't actually get assembled till years later. Sometimes life happens. You blink twice and nine years have gone by. That's what happened with this truck. My dad was getting off work and he noticed a picture up on his locker of him and grandpa leaning on that old truck. Only they were nine years younger. So he called up grandpa and said, hey, we gotta get that trap wagon finished. He said, I want this to be a memory building with you, not a tribute. So working on the weekends from 2008 to 2012, they got the trap wagon on the road and looking good. So why is it called the trap wagon? What is a trap wagon? The way I understand it is a trap wagon is any old truck outfitted on the farm to go service the farm equipment. So it would often have tools, oil, air compressor, fuel, sometimes maybe outfitted with a welder, whatever else you might need to fix up your tractors, plows, caterpillars, or whatever. My grandpa is really into tractors, especially the old caterpillar crawler type tractors. And being this truck was found on a farm with a big old fuel tank on the back, totally makes sense. It's called the trap wagon. This truck has a lot of cool features. The mud flaps are based off the old steel mil military variety. One of my grandpa's old trucks had a set. So my dad made some dies to match, he, and then he stamped these himself out of some stainless steel. I love how they look and how they move when the truck is cruising down the road. Stacks are pretty cool too. Um, they're also made out of stainless. 
That big old diameter along with uh, no mufflers makes this truck sound like a tractor trailer hauling logs. Totally love it. The bed of this truck was completely rebuilt. The original front and back of the bed were totally hammered. So my dad and my grandpa rebuilt those out of scratch. The, the bed was out also shortened and so um, they took the time to actually relocate the stake pockets so they were all evenly spaced. The wood in the bed is so cool. Um, it was sourced from some bleachers out of an old gymnasium. They're a full five quarter thick. Some of these boards that they came from were like 20 feet long and no knots. Since they're from bleachers, there may still be some bubble gum on the bottom side. Who knows? The wheels, man, the wheels are sweet. The center of those wheels are actually from some old artillery wheels, and the centers were placed in some rims from different sources, giving it the, the perfect width for the front, perfect width for the rear, giving it that nice stance that it has. And then they were powder coated red and outfitted with some beauty rings and Chevy hubcaps. Yeah. One of the coolest features of this truck is the transmission, or should I say, transmissions. Uh, not only does it have the factory four speed, but it also has two speed brownie, giving it eight forward gears. Watching my grandpa drive it is something else. The straight cut gears, you gotta double clutch it every time. The exhaust note is so sweet when he runs through the gears. A lot of memories with this old truck. Since my grandpa picked this thing up when I was five years old, it's pretty much been in our family my entire life. In my opinion, that's what a truck is all about. You're not just building a truck, you're building memories. So that's the story of the trap wagon. It's a genuine all-American truck owned by a genuine all-American man. <laughs>